Guru-Brahma, Guru-Vishnu, Guru-Devo-Maheshwaraha, Guru-Revaparam Brahma, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha, Chinmayam Vyapyat Sarvam, Trilokyam Sacharacharam, Tatpadam Darshitam Yena, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. Vameva Mata Chapita Vameva Vameva Bandus Chasaka Vameva Vameva Vedya Dravina Vameva Vameva Sarvam Vameva Vameva Om Sahana Babatu, Sahana Bhunaktu, Sahir Yam Karavahai, Tejasvina Badhidamastuma Vishavahai. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. So welcome back to our first Thursday class of the year. And does anyone know where we are in our text? I believe we're on number 15 on page 143, chapter six. Page 143. Oh. And what verse was it? It's verse 15. Okay. Will you help us out, please, Tony? Do you have enough light? Yeah. Gatita Gati Sittam Ja Vitayam Gati Janita Janitam Ja Vitayam. Amiti Yadi Chaika Nirantara Sarva Shiva Mavinashi Vinashi Katham Hipawe. The destroyed and the undestroyed are both false. The born and the unborn are both false. If there's only one indivisible, all comprehensive absolute, how can there be the perishable and the imperishable? So here what he's striking at is all these nuances and these distinctions between the absolute and the relative that we have in many of the scriptures. And here, all of those ideas are false. So Jory and I were talking this morning. Um, he had a question about a, a verse from Panchadashi. Do you remember what it was, the, the verse? Can, can you put your hand on it real quick? Or at least go over the essence of, it was about giving up the scripture. Do you want me to read it? Sure. Uh, an intelligent person who has studied the scriptures and has repeatedly practiced what they enjoin should renounce them after knowing the Supreme Brahman, just yeah. as a man throws aside a flame torch at the end of his journey. Yes, yes. So all of the scriptures with their distinctions between the self and the not self, the eternal and the relative, all of that is blah. And Jory used a phrase this morning or yesterday, I can't remember. I just love, I'm gonna shamelessly steal it. Soaking the mind. 
soaking the mind. Unknowing. Keeping up the mind itself. And if poverty arises, it's way over there. It's not real. It's not important. It's like the traffic going by. Next verse. Purusha Purushasya Vinashtam iti Vanita Vanitasya Vinashtam iti Yadi Chaika Nirantara Sarva Shivam Vinoda Vinodam Ti Chakatham the self is the annihilation of the masculine and the non-masculine. It is the annihilation of the feminine and the non-feminine. If there is only one indivisible, all-comprehensive absolute, how can there be consciousness of joy and lack of joy? So again, all these distinctions, so many of the scriptures say, you know, having gained a human birth and having attained to full manhood. Brahman doesn't have plumbing. And in the end, joy and sorrow are qualities of the mind. Now, this is a secret. Why do we call the self honor? Shankar will say, Chidhanam I'm of the form of bliss consciousness. The self is Satchidananda. Self is existence, consciousness, and bliss. Well, I don't feel blissful all the time. So does the self change? No. So my suggestion is we start off by translating Ananda as no sorrow reaches there. Physical pain gets to my body. Emotional turmoil gets to my mind, doubt gets to my intellect, but none of it gets to me. Well, then why do we call it such a chunyata? Existence, consciousness, and emptiness. Why do we call it Ana? What is the dharma of the human mind? The human mind is a pleasure seeker pain avoider mechanism. Meaning, from the moment you get up in the morning to the moment your head hits the pillow, all your mind is ever engaged in is seeking the good. All it ever does by your understanding of the good. You think drug, sex, and rock and roll this is good, that's where you're gonna go. You think obsessing about a child is where it is, that's where your mind's gonna go. But the mind soaked in Brahman 
the mind abiding in the self. The mind coming home. Because yourself is the fountainhead, the source of all joy, when the mind comes home, the mind is joyful, blissful. The scriptures use terms like Atmaravana, the one who can revel in the sun. And one of my favorites, Brahmananda Rasa. Rasa means juice. Take a, an orange, get the little section and put a little section in your mouth and you bite it and squirt. That's a rasa. This also means taste. What else does rasa mean? Nectar. Bye. It's to drink deep. We were talking about the Psalms of David. There's one that Christians think is about communion, but it's not. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The Sufis have an expression, oh, so-and-so has the taste. So this is a joy, this is a happiness, this is a peace, it's so clean. And it's always available. Because it's myself. Doesn't mean I always access it. Because the price tag This mature vairagya, I have to give up the world, give up my attachment, give up my concern, give up my preoccupation. You can go there if you wish, but then don't complain if your experience of joy fades. Any thoughts on this? Next verse. Yadi moha vishadi vihina paro yadi sanshaya shoka vihina paraha yadi chaika nirantara sarva shivam if the Supreme is free of delusion and sorrow, doubt and grief, if there's only one indivisible, all comprehensive absolute, how can there be I and mine? So, remember that both bonded and liberation will put in the mind, the self, the self of the being. Now, what the verse is pointing toward, it's a very subtle insight. Let's see if I can give a more worldly example. So if you go to sleep at night, do you wake up in the morning and go, oh my God, I forgot I was a human being for eight hours. Do you?
you don't cease to be a human being just because you don't sleep. But in deep sleep, you are not aware that you are a human being. Listen carefully. Hear the scripture is saying, don't be concerned about forgetting or spiritual ignorance, falling away. Once you really get that it's you, and you reverend are you. And so you have a bad day. So some lump of gunk comes up out of the unconscious. You react. You act like an asshole. Oh, I'm a terrible yogi. Ah, 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 ah. See it like a bad dream. So so a text that I just love is the Recognition Sutra of Kshemaraja. The one, and I, the translation I've had is by uh, Christopher Wallace. Their paradigm is that mind has five powers. These are the inherent powers of the infinite that occur in the mind. There's creating, things come out of nothingness into being, sustaining, they exist for a while, destroying or dissolving, they go back. We have the same in Vedanta. Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva. They have two others. Veiling power and revealing power. Veiling. I do not know what Jory and Susali had at the restaurant tonight. What did you have for dinner at the restaurant? Tikka masala. Hmm? Tikka masala. Tikka masala. Now I know. So I had veiling power. I did not know. You told me revealing power. Now I know. But I am the knower of all those five powers. I didn't disappear just because I didn't know what you had for dinner. Likewise, the self is not really obscure when the mind is in ignorance. Who had a crappy day this week? This month. <laughs> but imagine someone who had a terrible day. Did you have a terrible day? Oh, yes. By the way, did you exist? Of course I did. What was your existence? Just terrible. I was so upset. Oh, you were aware of your upset? Oh, yes, I was very aware of my upset. The self evidence of the self is never really covered. Now, there's a contradiction here. At one level of our sadhana, if we're stuck at Shloka 267 to be Baker to Domini, even after realization of the truth, there exists a strong impression that one is the doer and the enjoyer, which is the cause for rebirth, meaning re identification. This needs to be conscientiously rooted out through steady identification with the self, etc., etc. So you want to 
attain to steady wisdom. Stita. Now, This is very advanced teaching. This is not a teaching you give to kids or even in the Nikki's. The only real knowledge is the self evidence of the self. Are you you, dog? How do you know it? You don't see, hear, taste, touch, smell, and know your think yourself. And I know I am. I am self evident. That is the knowledge that is not in the mind. That is not the thought. Oh, he's right. I guess I am. That's the thought. But that didn't create or manifest your self-existence. Only that self-evidence, that self-effulgence is real. Everything else occurs in the realm of mind. Pratibhinda. So technically speaking, Yoga Vasishta and Tripura Rahasyam talk about three levels of jnana, wisdom. The lowest level, those are the jnanis who do in fact know their essential nature. When they get quiet and they introvert their attention and they notice the knower, they get, yeah, nobody home. Nothing there. That space of consciousness. But their knowledge is tenuous, meaning the mind is again covered by ignorance. They suffer like anybody else. But their knowledge will return in time. Yeah. How could I get so identified? Here the scripture is saying, don't worry about it. Any thoughts on this? Next verse. Nanu dharma vidharma vinasha iti Nanu bandha vibandha vinasha iti Yadi chaika nirantara sarva shivam Iha dukkha vidukkha the supreme is the destruction of virtue and vice. It is, the, it is the destruction of bondage and freedom from bondage. If there is only one indivisible, all comprehensive absolute, how can there be here any consciousness of sorrow and absence of sorrow? Yes. So what appears is consciousness of sorrow and absence of sorrow of bondage and liberation is all like a dream. Don't take it seriously. It's just the play of
you put too much time. Next one. Nahi Yagni Kayagni Vibhaga iti Nahat Nahutasha na Bastuvi Vibhaga iti Yadi Chaika Nirantara Sarva Shivam Vada Karma Palani Bhavanti Katham No distinction of sacrificer and sacrifice exists. No distinction of fire and ingredients exist. If there's only one indivisible, all comprehensive absolute, how say how there can be any fruits of work. Yes. So here the reference is to the yajna, the Vedic sacrifice. But it's a deeper echo. It actually is talking about the fourth and fifth chapter of Gita. I am the sacrifice, I am the oblation, I am the one doing it, I'm the receiver of the sacrifice. All of it is Krishna. No distinction. Meaning, not just when you're sitting and doing puja, but we go to the symphony. It's all done. You go to dinner. It's all done. You talk about the particulars of your life. It's all done. What does it do? It arises out of nothingness, exists for a while, goes back into nothingness. Sometimes there's veiling power, sometimes there's revealing power. These five powers are always playing, and they're all mid. The way I like to summarize it, the man or woman of wisdom no longer believes her mind. They don't believe anybody else's either. Sense of light and dream. Fake news. <laughs> Seen, but not real. Something there is that is real. Um, Next one. Nanu shoka vishoka vimukta iti Nanu darpa vidarpa vimukta iti Yadi chaika nirantara sarva shivam Nanu raga viragam vishva katham The self is verily free from sorrow and absence of sorrow. The self is free from pride and absence of pride. If there is only one indivisible or comprehensive absolute, how can there be consciousness of attachment and non-attachment? Yes. So all these are just the play of mind. When you quit believing them, 
the volume level gets turned way down. None of it touches me. to stop immovable like an anvil everything moves on it yeah, big storms up on the Donner Pass mountain does not change next one Nahi moha vimoha vikara iti Nahi lobha vilobha vikara iti Yadi chaika nirantara sarva shivam Ya viveka vivekam patishcha katham No such change as illusion and freedom from illusion exists. No such change as greed and freedom from greed exists. If there is only one indivisible, all comprehensive, absolute, how can there be consciousness of discrimination and lack of discrimination? So give up fussing. <laughs> Here's an assignment. Just try giving up everything for a morning. A cosmic middle finger to the universe. <laughs> you can take back all your cares and concerns if you wish. Brahma Sat Brahma Jagam Nitya Coming alone is Buddha. Phenomenal world is Nitya. No! Saravam Kauvita Brahma. The world is. But what it is is immovable changeless next one from aham nahi hanta kada chadapi Kula jati vicharam satya iti ahameva shiva parmartha iti abhivadam abhivadan am matra karomi katham. There are never any you and I. The discrimination of family and race is false. I am indeed the absolute and the supreme truth. In that case, how can I make any salutation? So as we get into Gita, Arjun's problem is he sees otherness. They are over there, I am over here. Or here's an even better one. If you are a student of Buddhism, you may be invited to take the Bodhisattva vow. What is the Bodhisattva vow? Who can remember? A couple of you have done Buddhist retreats. Who are realized, but they, they stay behind to teach others. 
until vow to not enter nirvana until all sentient beings are enlightened. And the number of sentient beings is infinite. But for the young, oh really? I don't see any other beings out there. <laughs> Practically speaking, so you have a subject-object relationship with the table. You're not a table. You have a subject-object relationship with your mind and your feelings and your thoughts. You are not your body. Why should I then look across the living room and say, you have a body and you're so upset? No, the self in you is never touched. Not only for you, you realize the self in you, you realize the self in everybody. It's all going to be okay. How can we do that? I know I'm not my body, but I think you're a body. It's nuts. We get this word in the scriptures, kevala or kaivalya. What does it mean? Aloneness. Aloneness. That doesn't mean you go off and live in a cave, separated from other people. It means there's only one of us here. You are aware of the room from your perspective. I'm aware of the room from mine. You are aware of your body. I'm aware of my body. You're aware of your thoughts and feelings. I'm aware of my thoughts and feelings. But when you look behind your eyes and notice the notice of the room. The space of pure awareness. And I look behind my eyes and notice the notice of the room. There's nothing there. But the space of pure awareness. The self in me is not like the self in you. The self in me is the self in me. I knew this yogi, this wonderful gal, Marlena Magali. I can't remember the poem, but she talked about Eyes, human eyes are magic holes in the fabric of eternity. So you look into someone's eyes and there's a sentient being looking down. It's as it were a hole in space time. And the infinite. Out of those eyes, a conscious being that has Baba being. That's God. The equipments may be different. Just a hologram. Next verse. Guru Shesha Vichara Vishosha Vishonam Iti Upadesha Vichara Vishinam Iti. 
अहमेव शिव परमार्थ इति अभिवादन अमत्र करोमि कथम the self is that in which the distinction of teacher and dis- disciple disappears and in which the consideration of instruction also disappears i am indeed the absolute and the supreme truth how can i in that case make any salutation so in the world of vyavahara transactions we have these customs of respect and reverence for the guru truth is find out who the guru is and when you find out who you are you will find out who the guru is and it's not that little man in the orange robes strange dance of guru shishya parampara i frankly thought it's much like sex in the empirical world we can all trace our <clears throat> genetic lineage back to a single woman in the Aldubai gorge in africa about 65000 years ago it was a genetic bottleneck and they think that the volcano that came to be known as krakatoa exploded a huge ash came over into uh, east africa and killed off a lot of lakes and the whole human population dwindled down to about 5 or 6000 years we know this because there's more genetic variety for example in a troop of chimpanzees in the congo than there is in the entire human race so what's happened man and a woman get together they make a baby and it goes on and on until it gets up with how do you mean but this knowledge is the same this atma vidya this knowledge of the self we don't know where it began i would say it's probably as old as humanity but we have these various sacred lineages where this knowledge is passed on from guru to shishya teacher to student just like a man and a woman are attracted to each other and then they get together to do the bhakti bhakti so the yearning in a human heart for the infinite arises the guru shows up and it acts the way but it's just that it's just another one of the dances in the world of mind you but fundamentally one I had a teacher so much he had his teacher so many couple of them i think his teacher was the shankaracharya the sri yogi i have no idea who his teacher lost but it's there we just don't know 
keeps getting passed on. But not right. Enough on that. Next verse. Nahi kalpita deha vibhaga iti. Nahi kalpita loka vibhaga iti. Aham eva shiva parmatha iti. Abhivadana matra karomi katham. There is no imagined division of bodies. There is no imagined division of worlds. I am indeed the absolute and the supreme truth. In that case, how am I? How can I make any salutation? Yes. So he's summing up the whole thing. There is no real otherness. Self is everywhere, everything. There is not self plus the world. And the self doesn't change or lose its nature. It is still undivided, the jnana, jnana, homogenous mass of consciousness. Yet, seemingly impossible, a phenomenal world appears in it. like the images in the mirror, like the images in the stone when I bring up the crystal ball. Whatever the dance is that occurs, true consciousness, untouched in Unmoved. Um, still. Next one. How many more in this section? Um, three more. Okay. Sarajo virajo na kadachit api nanu nirmala nishcha nishchala shuddha iti ahameva shivaha paramartha iti abhivadana matra karomi katham The self, never endowed with passion or devoid of it, is verily spotless, immovable, and pure. I am indeed the absolute and the supreme truth. In that case, how can I make any salutation? Yes. Nothing for me to pranam to because it's all there is no real. Next one. Nahi deha videha vikalpa iti anritram anritam charitam na satyam iti ahameva shivaha paramartha iti abhivadanam atra karomi katham no distinction such as body and bodilessness exists, nor is it true that there is false action. I am indeed the absolute and the supreme truth. In that case, how can I make any salutation? So what he's making reference to is this distinction between what we call being jivan mukta, liberated while in the body, and 
be deho moksha. He liberated beyond the body. At one level, we study the scriptures. If you believe in the doctrine of Bideho Moksha, then you do good karmas. And you do your best to expiate your papam and maximize your punya. And if you're really a good, goody, good, when you die, you go to Brahma Loka. And then at the end of the age, you are liberated. as opposed to being jivan mukta, liberated right here. Listen carefully. There is no difference between being jivan mukta and videha moksha. What is videha moksha? Be deha, beyond the body, liberation beyond the body. What is the mark of the person of steady wisdom? They know they're not the body. What is this body? Well, actually, it's nothing but imagination. It's nothing. Thing real. It's like being liberated beyond my dream body. I tell you, you are already the day homo. All this business about Punya and Papa and going to Brahma Loka and stuff like that. It's just another dream. The way we can clearly understand this, do you incarnate into a dream? Are you in the dream or is the dream you? Well, it feels like I'm in the dream. Absolutely. No one says it doesn't. But it's real. And is the dream really in you? There's two mornings in a row I've had this. I've had vivid dreams just before I wake up. When I wake up and I go to the bathroom, by the time I finish peeing, the dream's gone. I can't remember it. Any of you have that experience? Mm -hmm. Gone. Gone. This entirely vivid world that was so real at the moment of waking up. Five minutes later, where was I in that dream? Today's the 12th of January, 2023. What were you doing on the 12th of January of 2013? Go on. Go on. Why do we hold on to the idea, oh, this is more real, this is serious business? Tell you what does it. You see, yourself is a continuous and continuing reality. I think it's my body's existence the continuation of thought, or maybe I hold it all together with memory, that there's a solid Jim or Susili or Jory. Those things are ephemeral. But you are not. 
you are not ephemeral. You are incredibly real and present. If you talk to older people, many of them will say, you know, if I sit down and stay away from the mirror, I don't feel any different than I did when I was 20. Who's had grandparents or older friends who said that? Any of you? Screw Why? Because the self is eternal. Self doesn't name. Once I identify with the body, oh, look at that old person in the mirror. Oh, everything hurts. I can't remember. I'm 110, I'm almost dead. Buddy, 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 me, buddy, me, buddy, 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 me. That's all it is. Talking to Jory, told me how old he is. Thirty-two. Can you remember thirty-two? I was riding my dinosaur to work. <laughs> I barely remember who was that being. You know, it's so long ago, so different. What were you doing at thirty-two? I'm trying, to remember. Hmm? I'm trying to remember, I think. Yeah, but the body was 32 at one point. It's so unreal. It's so unreal. But you are still you. And your self is so here. It's so present. All right, one more or two more? Uh, one more. Vindati, Vindati Nahi, Nahi Yatra. Chando Lakshanam Nahi Nahi Tatra Samara Samara No Bhavita Putaha Pralapati Tatvam Parambadutaha Where one knows nothing, there is verily no versification. The Supreme and the Free One, pure of heart, absorbed in the consciousness of the homogeneous being rattles about the truth. Yes. So I think this is a very funny one because this whole chapter has been just some of the most delightfully uh, rhythmic Sanskrit. It says, when you stop No shloka. No simile, no metaphor, no example.
been to Lula tonight because I want to start the new section fresh. Om Pur Namada Pur Namidam Pur Nat Pur Namudachate Pur Nasya Pur Nama Bhaya Pur Nameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Namaha Oh. Mm. 